Hello folks, Rob AK Maximum RD here, and this is a direct response to one Mr. Viper29. His question being, what's in your PC? So let me run it down for you. First of all, my monitor is a SyncMaster, Samsung SyncMaster, uh, which one here, 931C, 19 inch LCD monitor. Uh, now, a lot of you question, say, why don't you have a widescreen monitor, Rob? And first I say, why are you talking like that? And then I say, it's very simple. At the time that I bought it, I wasn't into, I still wasn't sold on the concept of widescreen. I know you're thinking, what, what the, what's wrong with you? But see, the thing is, I don't watch many movies on my monitor, and I don't, um, and I found that some of the games that when you went into widescreen mode, you know, it was kind of like stretching the graphics, etc., etc. Anyway, long story short, as we all know today, widescreen is pretty much the standard nowadays. And that being said, obviously the next monitor that I buy, now that I'm doing video editing and things like that, will be a widescreen monitor. But this monitor should not be uh, dismissed. Uh, the SyncMaster 931C has an amazing color. Uh, gamut range of color. It's uh, very, it's like two millisecond response time. Excellent image quality, which, you know, obviously you can't capture just by simply uh, pointing at the monitor. But um, I'm very, I've been very, very happy with it from uh, watching videos to uh, looking at the graphics uh, and just, you know, gaming emulation everything has just been very sweet on this monitor i have no complaint i got a great price on it basically it's it's one of the if not the best in my opinion uh non widescreen monitors uh before all the monitors went to widescreen so that's my monitor um going up next i got the uh one of the first things i bought when I put my PC together, and I want to be very clear on something. I was not looking for bling. I was not looking for a crazy, you know, thing that looks like a UFO or to get a case that has, uh, you know, uh, decals with flames and all that stuff like that. But it's funny how things turn out. Sometimes they just turn out the way you don't plan. I went pricing components separately. I got good deals. And uh, the, one of the first components I bought was the RAM. Now the RAM, you can see in there, that's stuff with the uh, LEDs on it that's uh, flickering. That is uh, Crucial, it's by Crucial, and it's their Ballistic Tracer line of memory. It is DDR2 800 megahertz RAM. I got an amazing deal and price on it at the time when I bought it. They were having a sale. So I got two gigs of this memory, and I looked at it and go, and I thought to myself, wow, those have pretty red and green LEDs on top of it. And then I thought to myself, well, that's cool, but not much point having that if if nobody ever sees it. So I uh, then the next thing you know, I f I'm looking through the cases. And again, on sale for like 100 bucks is this case, which as you can see has a window on the side. I thought, okay, perfect. Now you can see the pretty colors of my RAM. Let me shut the, uh, the light out there. See? So that's really cool. And I got this again at a great price. It's the NZXT Blackline uh, Tower Case. And I just like the look at, of it. No flames on the side, no you know, airbrush or anything like that. But it is a nice looking, serious looking machine something I, I look at and think, hey, Darth Vader would own that, you know, so, <laughs> excuse me, it's got uh, sensors, readings at the top here for CPU, hard drive, and uh, internal systems. Right here is a Samsung Sync, uh, Samsung Super Write Master uh, DVD recorder, and here is a BenQ DVD recorder. And yes, an old time floppy, three and a quarter inch floppy drive, which I don't even remember the last time I used it, but it is there. And it's there for the purposes of other people giving me media, that uh, three and a quarter inch drive that needs to be read or transfer the information off of, etc. It's just there, so that's cool. Um, internally, 
have a uh, Western Digital 500 gig SATA hard drive. Externally, I have this Lacey. Uh, I'm not sure, it might be a Seagate uh, or a Max Tor or whatever Seagate, uh, Lacey puts in their drives. Um, 500 gigabyte external hard drive. Uh, okay, as for my CPU, it is an Intel, Intel dual core E6750 processor. At the time I purchased it, that was pretty much the best deal between price and performance. Um, yeah, I didn't have a lot of money for like the highest end at the time, but the uh, E6750 dual core processor was a very good balance of price and performance when I purchased it. My video card, I can't remember the exact brand, but it is a NVIDIA chipset. It is an NVIDIA 8800 GT, um, which I think is the same that Rich has from Review Tech. I'm pretty sure. One gigabyte of uh, video memory. And bottom line, everything I throw, every game I throw at this, I've had no problems, no stuttering, no uh, missing frame rates or anything like that. Everything runs smooth as butter. So far in my experience, I've had no problems with it. It's all very nice. Um, of course, I use it also for video editing, titling, you know, all that kind of stuff. Video work, uh, browsing the web, watching YouTube videos. Everything is smooth. You know, I could be... Uh, you know, watching Mystery Science Theater streaming video in one window while I'm editing something else, while I'm playing some little game so at the same time, and everything's running smooth as butter. Uh, using the NVIDIA graphics drivers, also sometimes I, I got my uh, 3D glasses here. These are good ones, actually. <laughs> so, um, latest drivers for NVIDIA uh, allow you to use Anaglyph Red and Blue 3D in their games and that is pretty cool and uh for example uh mn12 bird i'm pretty sure it was him mn12 bird uh yeah I'm almost positive it was him I posted a video recently on how you could uh download um half-life 2 coastal uh mission and i did that and i played it in 3d and it was really really cool cool i mean like red and blue 3d like the glasses and it was awesome. It ran smooth as silk. So that is a complete overview of my system. Oh, the motherboard. I almost missed that. It is an Asus um, PK5E, I believe, motherboard. Yeah, that's right. PK5E, Asus motherboard. I like Asus motherboards. I've never had a problem. And, oh, I should probably mention if I can see it. Otherwise, I won't be able to, to say... Oh darn, I can't see it in there. Uh, the, the power supply is unknown. I think it's a Kingston. I'm pretty sure it's a Kingston. Cannot say 100%. But uh, I looked up the uh, ratings of this model. Um, I believe it's only 650 watts. Or something like that but anyways um, it had good ratings and uh, 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 good ratings for this brand I cannot stress enough to anyone building their own PC and uh, many of you already know this if you're gonna get a $300 graphics card and a good uh, CPU and you know a fancy case and all that you gonna don't cheap out on the power supply you're really gonna regret it because one bad voltage spike or what have you your uh, power supply unit will take out your whole computer. So don't skimp on the power supply. Alrighty, that's it. Uh, I'll talk to you later.